Hello guys, welcome to News Unplug KE. My name is Vivian Cabono. I will be your host for this show. This is a weekly recap where we check what has been happening around the globe, nationally and internationally. We will be highlighting the news as they have been happening, authentic conversations, and we will be talking about facts. Welcome along and please subscribe, like, share, comment, tell us what has been happening on your side what are the news that have been hitting the headlines on your side welcome a lot now our first headline that has been hitting the news is the fuel prices the fuel prices are doomed to be on the rise and i'm so so sad about this or i don't know what we should do because the fuel prices have been going high and high and actually for the first time the fuel prices have Pit past the 200 shillings mark you know very well that the full prices should not go above that price and everybody is concerned because why are the prices going up according to epra the logistics or the data that they have released uh, lately is that the diesel prices have been going up the petrol prices have been going up and the kerosene prices have been going up so the petrol prices have been going up by 16 shillings the diesel prices by 21 shillings and the kerosene prices by are hoping that is three shillings kenyans are worried about this because as you know when the fuel prices goes up everything goes up the fuel the commodities the household commodities go go up as well and according to the cabinet secretary energy cabinet secretary davis chichir he's saying that he will not sell hope to people that uh, people should be ready for tough times that will be coming and people should harden themselves because it's not going to be any better and also backing him up the economic advisor who sits in the president who advises the president about according to the economic issues in the country according to david Ndee, who is the economic advisor to the president according to the issues dealing with economic uh, e- economic issues in the country he's saying that he is not a politician but he's not giving any hope to people the fuel prices might actually continue going up and people should just accept that he's saying that he's going to tell the people as it is the fact as it is on other news uh the epra director general david kipto Daniel Kipto is saying that the fuel prices have nothing to do with the government. On other news, it has been an year since the Kenya Kwanzaa government has been in control and the media, to be specific, Citizen TV, had called the cabinet secretaries to talk to them and ask them questions about the price or the cost of living according to how Kenyans are saying and how uh, the progress has been since the government took over. And now things got spicy and actually there was drama on TV because the investment trade and industry cabinet secretary uh, Moses Kuria was asked about the cooking oil prices and he was so sure or he was arguing that the cooking price the cooking oil prices have gone low by 50 percent he was so sure and he actually dismissed the actual prices that the TV or the media station had said that the cooking oil had been going up so Sam Gitoko who was the host of the show was arguing that actually the cooking price oil has been going up while Moses Kuria was saying that the prices have not been going up they have actually been going down and to be actually uh, Moses Kuria was so surprised because the TV station sent a person to supermarket as Moses Kuria was challenging them telling them they should go to supermarket and say that the prices have gone down and they actually did that they went to the supermarket and shown live on air that the prices has actually been going up and uh, Moses Kuria was so so surprised and also so embarrassed and to cap the embarrassment he said that he wanted to call a person from Kakamega he's one and only Masi uh, I don't know who Masi is to him or let's say he Masi was to be called and he was saying that he should be allowed to call live on air and say that the prices have been going low actually this is actually um, shows how i do not want to 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 use a strong word but as sifuna says our cabinet secretaries are actually incompetent and they do not argue with facts because how do you say that the prices have been going low yet it is very evident that the prices have been going up so it 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 seems that our cabinet secretaries are not as competent but who are we to argue the president chose him uh, chose them himself and we only have to put our country before god 
and on social events and mysterious events that has been happening around Kenya to be specific there has been um the story that has been trending about a mysterious event where a woman has disappeared for five years this woman is called Eliza Wongoy and their husband was called Polycap on Tony uh on, on yeah Polycap let's call him Polycap according to the news they were having a quarrel actually it was a very very uh let me say not a big quarrel because eliza wanted the husband to go and get cooking oil for them to cook well uh, uh polycap argued that he didn't have any money and eliza got angry and started raising her voice and uh, polycap slapped her twice saying that kissing men do not take sharp tongues or harsh tongues from women eliza got very angry and left closing the door from outside and she left on 8th april 28th 2015 she was actually a student at nairobi aviation college she was studying business management and by then she had one year kid so since she left on april nobody knows about her and allegedly the mother has been trying to look for her back to back with no avail and when she followed the 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 case really hard she found that Polly Cape never reported that the wife had been missing so he didn't care at all so the question is where is eliza wangoy where is she why has the husband never reported how will the mother react or how will the mother handle the situation on other news uh the nairobi hospital finance boss eric maiga was found dead on friday morning at his uh, city home uh, mm, uh, at his city home he was 36 years old and he was found with 16 star boards 10 on his chest and on his back according to the police they're saying that the alleged who is a woman a female friend happened to be uh, who happened to be alleged or, or who they're saying probably took um, the matters or uh, uh, did the madam uh, saying that she might have spent the night with with Eric or she might have had access to his home uh, in the morning and did that act and uh, probably she left minutes before the police arrived so the question is who is this woman and actually Eric happened to be having an AGM meeting at the at the hospital days before his death so people are saying that or the the management of the hospital is saying that Eric was a dedicated person and may he rest in peace may we find justice for Eric who killed Eric may his soul continue resting in peace now crossing over to international news libya has been having floods and actually many have died the floods were caused by the mediterranean storm daniel and uh, allegedly it is also due to the poor infrastructure where an eastern coastal city in the in the country was actually demolished and uh, 11,000 people were killed due to this storm and uh, 10,000 are actually missing. People are actually wondering where are these 10,000 people and uh, organizations have been calling upon people to come and help uh, starting with the World Health Organization. They have been really trying to save lives in Libya and organizations have been called upon to save people and to help to donate and for the philanthropists to come through and help people especially the Libya people. These bring us to the news obama foundation had posted and calling people to support libya people through the foundation and actually obama reposted this post and this post actually brought a lot of um let me say uh, a lot of bashing to obama because allegedly especially the netizens the netizens and uh, kenyans are saying or accusing obama that gaddafi president uh gaddafi the president of libya who died in 2011 who was allegedly killed by NATO. This happened under the, um, the regime or when uh, Obama was in power and people are asking why did this happen while he himself has African roots. It seems that this Gaddafi death is not going to leave the face of Obama anytime soon but who are we to judge? So people are being called upon to help Lib Libya and let's hope that everything will be well soon. On international news, the North Korean leader Kim Jong Un has visited or visited Russia, Moscow for the first time since the invasion of Ukraine, where they were having bilateral talks with the one and only Russian leader Putin. Actually, what stood out and what has been trending is the means of transport that he used. We know very well most leaders, especially when it comes to presidents, prefer using the 
aeroplanes uh, but for him he used a train which allegedly he was given by his father and many pre or many leaders from the country had used or have been using that train as a means of transport allegedly the reason why he was using the train is so that he can get the news what has been happening or what is happening in his country and so that he can continue with leadership from wherever he is across the globe allegedly the train actually has a helicopter which can be used in case of any emergency it is bullet and, and uh, bullet and bomb proof and also it has that in encourages and it has offices where he can continue doing his work as he is traveling uh, allegedly the trade also has some ladies so that it can have a good time when the journey is too long uh, on other news after they talked and uh, um, the president or the leader the korean leader congratulated russia and putin because of the um, they have been developing and uh, they have been making several achievements putin also accepted the invitation to go to north korea after he was invited Thank you so much, dear viewer, for being together with us and for watching the weekly recap with me, your host, Vivian Carbono. We will be bringing you more of this, what has been happening around the globe and especially in Kenya. Thank you a lot. Kindly subscribe, like, share and comment at News Amplake. Blessings.